So this is um, Aero Perfume, so it's a gel paste, so it's highly pigmented, so you can do ombres. You can do ombres with gel polish as well, but it's easier with this, because okay. it's okay. so pigmented. Which, which nail are you doing first? Um, so you want those two to be black, background. Oh, you're yeah, ombre? Ombre black. Yeah, so that it yeah. frames yes. the nail. Yeah, yeah. It frames it. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to lay that down first. Okay. Um, I am going to buff a little bit. So let me just whack a new buffer on here. So these ring fingers are going to have this black ombre and then the crystallised flames, which are just going to be a showstopper. Yeah, they're going to look so fierce. Love, love, love it. Cool With, little setup here, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Well, bet you've got some that's, you know, similar for makeup. I have like my own room and it's got like shelves for all my wigs and I've got drawers for all my makeup and yeah. stuff. So this is very much like, I suppose, we're going to build this blend. It's going to be buildable. It's like makeup, isn't it? Yeah. This, I saw you using this applicator actually because I was looking at stuff on your page. Yeah. And you're doing like a checkerboard design and you're Oh, yeah. This. So I'm going to start from the bottom and then we'll slowly build up a little bit higher. That tool's so cool, isn't it? It is. I love it. It's just easier. It's like a little beauty blender. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> would it work for that? I would imagine so. Yeah, I would imagine it would do. Oh my god, I, can, I love how I can just sit and watch. This is so cool. It's satisfying. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I really love? Avocados. Oh, Avocados on nails. Oh, I just love Oh, honestly. you were on about them here yesterday. You were like, I hope the shop sells avocados. Did you get some? No. Do you know what is the I so my friend is from South Africa, and they use as, that they do this seasoning called herbama. I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah. It's like sea salt, and then loads of other like things in it, right? Yeah. And you mix that with the avocado and lemon juice, and then you mash it all together, and then you have it on toast with like salmon. And that oh my amazing. god, it's unreal! But I've started having it now with. Bacon that I fry with maple syrup. Oh! And then, oh, 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 oh. Now that sounds nice. So I do like the toast. I toast the toast yeah. in the pan that's had the maple syrup and the bacon in. So I toast my bread in the pan. So then basically I, fry it. Yeah. yeah. And then I put the avocado on. Yeah. And then I put the bacon on top. And then a poached egg. And then some hollandaise sauce. Oh my it's god, that sounds like incredible. absolute heaven. Incredible. Like, honestly, I've been obsessed with avocados now since my friend made it for me. Like, that is. I much. must eat, like, at least, like, four avocados a week. Really? <laughs> yeah, I love it so much. <laughs> like, so much. Like, literally, right now, I'm, I know I'm going to go home and just go to Aldi and get. That's what you're going to get. Because Aldi do really good avocados. Yeah. Like really good, and they're ready ripe to go. And like yeah. most places do avocados that are not ripe, so you have to buy it and wait. But I'll do ready to ripe to eat that day. I've seen. I don't know where it was. We got. I think maybe it was Asda. So they do like a um, ready one that's ready and ripe, and one that's not. Oh, so you got one to eat now, it, yeah. and then you got one ready. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like yeah. that idea too. See, that's smart business. Yeah, pop that in. You might like these for makeup. Oh yeah, I love them. For cleaning up. Yeah, really good. Oh my god, they're amazing. Yeah, and I also use these tiny Q-tips that I've got. Yeah, I do like a tiny little fluffy on the end. And it's like a little diamond shape one, and they come in like really. It's basically imagine a Q-tip, but like it's basically like this, but it's got like a bit more like pad into it. Yeah. I just love it. It's so good for doing makeup. Yeah. So I only got them off Amazon. Yeah, Literally, and I was I love like, all, the, all the angles. It's so cool. So how many cameras are you filming on right now? Just the border. <laughs> That's nuts. So you obviously have to clean this up before it goes in the lamp because else you would have gel cured on your finger. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was like, yeah, because you're just dabbing it all over. Yeah. They do a, um, like a skin barrier protector, but I find... You've got to put so many layers on, and just for one nail, it's pointless. I, right? It's pointless. Yeah, it's it's absolutely pointless. So, oh, this is so therapeutic. Like watching you do it with the cameras like this, it's so cool. 
I'm having a implant tomorrow. Oh, like a full one? Because I, I did have one and it went, it was, it got infected and I had to have it out. I had an absolute nightmare with it. So it's healed for uh, nearly three months and then going to do it again. It's horrific. So did you have, cr like, so your teeth now, are they These veneers are veneers, or crowns? veneers. But then I had that tooth went that bad. It just fell out, virtually just fell out while oh I was. God. Oh, I went and it like half of it fell off and the oh, rest was in so God. they had to get that out so now I hate that side because uh, yes if I'm talking you can't see it but As I, say, I did not I've not noticed it at yeah, all today but if you smile really big or you're laughing even when you were laughing earlier though like I always check see if people have fillings <laughs> <laughs> it's just my little fascination yeah because like I have like I got my, I had Invisaligns done, so then my teeth are my own teeth. Yeah. Um, but I've still got like two fillings that are like silver fillings that need to be changed to white ones. I just haven't got around to like going yet. Yeah. Plus one of them's a crown that needs to be done because part of my tooth's chipped. But then they told me how much a crown was going to be and I was kind of like... Oh, this so, is three grand. Because I'm so stingy, I'm just like, I don't really want it. <laughs> it was three grand just for that, that tooth to be well, done. Oh, because it's an implant though, isn't it? Mm. But I go Kiss Dental it's in Manchester. Oh, Okay. They're really, yeah, really good. Absolutely. Three thousand pounds a lot of money for it's a, a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but they are really good as well. So it's like, oh, well, you get what you pay for. You know what it's like. No, I agree. Like, it, it is a tricky one. I think because I paid. So I got my Invisalign done as like a deal with a dentist. Mm -hmm. But then I paid for like the whitening. Yeah. And the extra stuff afterwards, you know. Um. But yeah. I've I've thought about getting veneers. When I say veneers, I mean like when they put it on top of your tooth, yeah, not yeah. shaving it down to put. Yeah, not shaving it down, not yeah. turkey teeth. Yeah, because the turkey teeth is not a veneer; it's a crown. Yeah. It's a crown prep that you're having done, it so is, it's a crown. Yeah. It really blasts me. Like I've got veneers, and I'm like, no, you no, don't, because if you take that off, crowns, yeah, if you take that off, you've got no teeth underneath. Yeah, so yeah, I've still got all my teeth underneath. That's the only way. So, did you get your veneers done at Kiss? Yeah. Was it expensive? They did do a deal with me. Should have been 12 grand charged me three and a half. They did a casting of my teeth how they were before. So then I made a video of me pretending I was a dentist and making the teeth with the acrylic. It was ace. I loved it. I was like, oh, I quite like this. I could be good at this. <laughs> it's wild. So, yeah. Because I, I think now, after having like my own teeth in Visalign, like, I feel like I want that actual, like. Oh, yeah. It'd be, so, it'd be so easy to have done. Um, and how many teeth show when you smile? So one, two, three, four. Mm, I'd want like to have ten top, ten bottom, wouldn't you? Yeah. I've had eight top, eight bottom. I'd want quite like a small smile. I'd want like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. I like my teeth now because yeah. they're natural. Yeah. But I would want. Oh, I think I'd probably want all my teeth done. <laughs> but you wouldn't want your back ones done. You wouldn't see them. No. You're wasting money. Yeah, probably to there. But yeah. um... I bet they'd do a deal with you as well, to be honest. That would be nice. I like deals. I like deals. <laughs> we like deals. We like deals. I just like it when it's like I don't have to, like, I know it sounds bad. Like, I don't ever really use my Instagram to get free. I know. Like, I know, like, people, like, <laughs> offer me it and stuff, and that's fine. Yeah, but, like, and if you the, like it, then that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. but, like, for the main part, I am, um, oh, my God. Got an itch. Oh, it's so... It's so itchy. You but can for the use... main part, I don't like to... Um... You can use no. all of them apart from the one we just done. The yeah. black one. I just feel like there's like a miscommunication of like people think that influencer just out to get like everything for free and it's like, that's not... And I think there probably is people that are like that, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. I use it when I need to. Mm -hmm. It is handy, isn't it? It is handy. I often do message people with my Instagram, like my, my main account, yeah, which has yeah. my following. Yeah. To get, to see if like any of them offers it, but nine times out of ten, like they never do. Really? <laughs> yeah. Have you not got an agent? Yeah, I've got my manager who does yeah. a lot of things. But like, I don't really like, I don't really care for like getting like free meals or. Yeah. I mean, realistically, like I think like it'd be cool if I could get some like free hotel stays. That'd yeah. Be cool. But again, I'm not really asked. 
Not a part of her. So we've got to think how wide we can do this and how thin we can do it because we have stones to put on. Mm -hmm. So these tiny little bits that come up here, you're never going to get a stone on that, are you? See what I mean? Why well, we did that so fast? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, no, we wouldn't, but it doesn't matter because you got the, the you silver. Because you got silver, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Whoa, that was so fast. And it's so precise. Oh, thank you. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Oh, my, she's an icon. She's an actual icon. The amount I quote that every single day. <laughs> I've seen what she put on TikTok the other day. She's like, don't get married. Shag a lot. Really? I didn't see that. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, she's an actual icon. Yo, I can't believe how fast we just did that. And it looks pristine. Oh, I like it when people appreciate it. Because I don't know if you've ever watched any of the videos with Faye in. Faye's our worst client ever. Because Why? she's like, you think, you probably think that you're quite picky and you've got every right to be picky. But Jesus Christ, that girl is next level. Oh, really? She's, she's my friend. And we have a lot of banter. But she's... Annoying. A nightmare. She she says I've created the beast because I've done a nail so perfect for so long that anything less is just not acceptable. Oh yeah, girl T, I agree. Yeah. I'm the same now. Yeah. I mean I probably like won't be able to go back to George now. No, you will. She's really good. But no, I'll keep doing it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, because I was thinking, because I was going to be fair to be thinking, like, it's handy to have George so close. Yeah. Because we have my schedule. I mean, I come to Manchester sometimes for things anyway. <gasps> so we can always Whoa. do a, a little bit of a flying Yo, visit. Sorry, everyone watching this. I was, like, enjoying the conversation. I'm just too enthralled in all this, like, detail work right now. <laughs> you can't see it, but there's, like, a screen here, and I can literally see the zoomed-in camera thing <laughs> up close, and it's, like, mesmerising. <laughs> so, right, so let me just... Make sure I've got enough glitter on so we cover all the grounds. This is wild. I love this colour though. It's, it's called really Mercury pretty. and it's just. Question? Yeah. You know the bottom loop there? Yeah. Are you making that thicker or not? The bottom, this line? Do you want me yeah. to make it thicker? No, do you think it would look right being thicker on that? We now? can go a little bit, yeah. So kind of like this. Right. So if you leave one side thicker than the other. Oh, that looks... Uh, wait, you just added it on there, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Oh, no, so you just like round it off, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But to be fair, it kind of, once you've rounded it off, it'll kind of, it kind of looks better anyway. It's uneven. So it means that it looks more flame-like, doesn't it? Ah, because it's like more inconsistent. That's it'll... so good. So you want me to add a little bit... So wait, let me just round this off a little bit here. And you want me to do the same for this one? Do you think I need that? Or do we quite like it like that? Just think about the stone application. You'll have slightly more or slightly bigger ones on the end of the other one. I feel like I don't even know if I want the neon anymore. <laughs> no, I do. I feel like you just want more like that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Like really pretty, isn't it? Shall we leave it like that? Or do you want me to Yeah, just... I kind of like it. We can always go back. I mean, you know what? No, you're in control here. You know what's I best for the crystals. So a you, smudgy. yeah, you add what needs because we need to add the crystals. Yeah. Yeah. Pop that in the lamp. <laughs> have you done flame makeup? Flame. I actually have a look planned. I've just drawn one. I've got a look planned. Oh, but it's that'd be nice. The, but it's all black and white monochromatic, so like yeah. these nails wouldn't work for it. Yeah. Um, because my face is going to be white. I've got a half and half black and white wig, and then I've got eyes that are like black graphic flames with like a neon outline, and then nice. there's like a, a like a layer of flames that go like across the center of my face with like the neon green too. Yeah. Um. And what neon? What neon are you using for that? What what colors? What what brand? What is it? Oh, I've, just, use I've got like, like a grease paint. paint or? No, no, I've got like a water activated paint from yeah. Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have yeah. like a like a 
a sister company called Norbina Cosmetics. Oh, right, yeah. And they do, like, these little stacks where you get, like, three neon colours that are water-activated and you just, like, open the stacks. So there's, I've got two stacks. One's, like, pink. Yeah. One's, like, pink, orange and white, and then one's, like, purple, green and yellow. So I'll just use a neon green from that. Which, to be fair, I can actually... These brushes would be perfection for it. Yeah. So lovely. I literally can use these brushes. Yeah. For it. Awesome. So I was going to have to buy some more of the the other ones because they're a bit like dusty. To be fair, the other ones are really good, but they just don't hold enough pigment, so it takes me even longer. So I needed yeah. like a brush that's super, super fine, but holds, but a, bit holds more. a bit more pigment, yeah, yeah. because this one like, just doesn't. So you know you've got like, every face is different that yeah. you work on. Mm -hmm. Every nail is different. I mean, every individual nail is different. So, you know, when you want to get everything exactly the same, unless you do, like, acrylic sculpted nails and you're working on natural nail, you know, you kind of have to work with the nail. The nail. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Like, even this, this as a set right here is, like, gorge. Yeah, just the that nails, one, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, like, too much. Like, I like a lot. So, like, for me, realistically, like, no. I no, can't you just need more. One. Yeah. Duh. We need it all. I just can't get over how fast and precise you've done the blends. It's crazy. Have you ever got really far into a makeup and then gone, yep, I need to take it off? Absolutely. Yeah. I just sometimes... I do that with nails. I get to the point, I'll be, do, I'll be doing a makeup look and I'll be like, the, in my head... So when you do a makeup look on like a face chart, like on paper, or I do mine on my iPad, yeah. they always look so incredible. And I'm like, yeah, it's going to look amazing. Yeah. And then I put it on my face and I'm like, ooh. And then you just go off it. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? There's no point in like carrying on and wasting yeah, it. Like yeah. a lot of people, oh, that's like bad practice. Like you shouldn't, you should like get it finished. And I'm like, no, like I know how my face works. Yeah. I know yeah, how my makeup want. looks. And like, if it just doesn't look right, then like, I don't want to, I'm not going to waste my time on it. Like, no, I'll wash it off to a face mask, order pizza and go to bed. Yeah. I'm going to get Domino's for tea tonight. I'm getting Domino's for tea tonight. I'm doing yeah, it. doing it. I'm doing it. So, when... Try and stop me. <laughs> when you did um, the Ant and Deck Saturday night takeaway... No, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. Did you not do that? <laughs> I was going to say that. I swear I saw you do that. <laughs> you get... Yeah, so... When they came out, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is insane. I loved it. Yeah. And then you put on that but you did know. it. And yeah. I was like, well, you know, it clearly was going to be insane. How how was that? Were they good to work with? Were yeah. they fun? Uh, you know what? I was very sceptical at first when I was booked. Yeah. Because I was just a bit like putting heterosexual men in drag is a bit of a weird territory to be in. Right. But I was like, you know what? They're showmen. They're respectable. They yeah. do a lot of the transformations on Saturday Night Live anyway. So I was like, yeah. you know what? Let's just go with it and I'll see what it is. And I turned up and... So obviously there's... I did Deck and yeah. Raven, who's RuPaul's makeup artist, well, yeah. did. So and you worked alongside Raven? Yeah, she picked me. Like, she picked me to do it. Yeah. Oh, she, my God. So basically, I don't, I don't, I don't know how much of this I can say. So, like, we'll just say it anyway. And if I get in trouble, then we'll get in trouble. It's done now. Yeah. So, basically, um, RuPaul was asked to do the show. Yeah. And that Anna and Deck wanted to do drag. But they was going to do it in the ad break. So, try getting drag in, like, three minutes. What? Yeah. You can't do that. And, then, and then they was, like... This is what I wanted to know. Like, how yeah. how was this so put then together? Anna and Deck decided they wanted to go full on. And because RuPaul was going to be the guest judge... RuPaul was, not the guest judge, but a guest. RuPaul's like, I'll yeah. only be the guest if when you do the drag, my team can do it. Yeah. But Raven was like, I can't physically do all the makeup in the time scale that we've got, so I need yeah. someone else. So there's like, well, who do you want? And Raven was like, the only person I know who I could trust to work alongside me, it was me. And I was like, first of all, that's better than Anna doing the Anna Dex makeup. Like, yeah. to know that Doesn't she, matter who you were doing. Yeah. To know yeah. that she wanted yeah. me to work on the side yeah. of the house, like, wow. And obviously, I had to be approved by RuPaul as well. And I was literally yeah. sat there, and, like, the guy who was with Raven, like, had text pictures to RuPaul, and RuPaul was like, they look incredible. And I was just like, wow. Like, that's really cool. Like, yeah. you know, to have, like, that stamp of approval for my work is, like, God, like, amazing. Yeah. So... 
We did the makeup. They were really, really fun to do. It took me two hours to do deck. Two hours? Two hours. Yeah. We were just sat and had a good old chat. It was filmed the day before Saturday Night Live. Yeah. But they only did it in one... We did two takes. That was yeah. it. And it was filmed, done and dusted. And the only reason we did two takes was just to make sure that they had everything they needed for edit. So it wow. wasn't even like they needed... The first take was incredible. Yeah, yeah. And they wasn't even going to do a second take because of the, all the confetti cannons. They probably just needed some different angles and stuff yeah. for the camera, Yeah, then they maybe. was like, let's just reset and we'll do it one more time and then they did it. Yeah, and it was like really good. Like, it was amazing. Super fun day. Easiest money I've ever earned. Like, it was a breeze. I was literally there yeah. for three hours. Wow. And it was... I love that because like, they, they looked incredible. They did. Oh my god, bitch! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I could genuinely have a full hand of these ones. Yeah. Do you know what I would actually love for you to do? Like a full set of like acrylics. Yeah. But with the pink to black ombre, yeah. with then the flames. Yeah. With the crystals on that would be. So that would hot. be nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's get the crystals on because because there's a sticky layer on. The colour mercury. Mercury? Is that the silver? Yeah, what will happen is dust will get on it and stuff like that. So I want to get this done. I know it's the most fabulous one. Mm -hmm. You know, but we want to get it done now. So what happens? Does that stay sticky for the crystals to stick to and then you cure it and then it sets? Yes, so this gem gel, it's a gel base, so it's not some of it's going to cure, it's going to, it's not going to air dry. Mm -hmm. It's, just going to be there, stick it on, put it in the lamp, cured, mm -hmm. Bob's your knob, it's done. You said Bob's your knob? Bob's your knob, I always say Bob's your knob. Oh my god, I've never heard that before in my life. <laughs> Fanny's your uncle, no, yeah. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, yeah. but you said Bob's your knob. I say Bob's your knob. <laughs> so stupid. Hello, <laughs> I am so stupid. Did you not be that? Oh my god. So, yeah, we just put it over. I mean... This is really, really pretty. You couldn't use it on fabric or anything like that, though, because it will go rock hard. Oh, really? Yeah. But I guess yeah, you could use it, like, it Can you use it on, like, leather? Yeah, you could use it on shoes. Okay. If it wasn't going to move too much. And then you UV carry Bags. It. Yeah. Jewelry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, don't. Mm. Yeah, need a bit of that in your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, let's start with some crystals. And we've got, obviously, we've got micro beads as well. Yeah, because I was thinking, to be fair, like, it doesn't have to be solidly encrusted. It can be, like, just, like, the stones scattered all over. So mm -hmm. I think, like, just scatter the stones first. We'll see what it looks like. And then yeah. we can always decide if we want to add those micro beads yeah. in. Because, not going to lie, I know you say it looks good because they fill space. However... They're not as good as stones. They're not stones. <laughs> <laughs> They're not crystals, are they? So, you know. They're not crystals. Yeah. Yeah, because that looks really cool already, doesn't it? Yeah. So when you've been crystallising, like, shoes and things like that, how long is that taking you? Oh, God. Because that looks like Shoes it. do take a long time. Mm -hmm. mm, I could probably get, like, a shoe done in about five hours. Oh, just the fact. Like hours. sat there five hours. Solid. Where's your favourite place to go out in Manchester? Honestly, I'm pretty boring. Like me and Jack, like we always just go to cruise. Yeah. Like it's just really fun. We love to go and drag. Yeah. It's so chill. What's your favourite thing that you've done, like work-wise within... Makeup. Mm. I don't know actually, because I love it all. Yeah. Like obviously, like key things like stick out to me where I'm like, oh, I love this or I love this, but like, I generally just love my job. Mm -hmm. So like, I love everything, and like, I'm quite indecisive. So like, I couldn't really sit here and say like this has been like the favorite thing. But yeah. I mean, like, I did enjoy. Oh, actually, no. Okay, I do have something. Angelina Jolie. So doing what? doing the premiere working alongside disney for the premiere of maleficent 2 and getting to walk the red carpet and meet angelina jolie because you absolutely I love her. she's my like i yeah. love her so much so getting to meet her in person in drag is just something that like i literally will cherish forever like it's just incredible like she's incredible i 
I am just, yeah. That was honestly amazing. So what, what makes you love her so much? I love the idea that she's almost like this rebel turned humanitarian. Yeah. Like she had such like a, what's the word I'm looking for? She had such like an exposed kind of like, her because obviously her dad's like a famous movie star. Yeah. And so she was like exposed with fame, like very Teenage. young. Yeah. And she was kind of like a wild child, did some crazy things, got a lot of headlines. Yeah. And then she just turned to this, like, humanitarian. Her family's just made up of, like, children from all over the world. And it's just, like... And she's also, like, the most beautiful woman on earth. Yeah. I just love, love her. It. I just, I just honestly do not know what it is. I just... Everything about her I just love. So oh. what was the Disney thing for, then? So it was for Melissa Pinton. What did you do for them? So I created a tutorial inspired by her makeup look from the film. Yeah. And then I attended the London premiere of the film. Wow. Yeah. It's That's really, amazing. really amazing. And was this before Glow Up or after Glow Up? Uh, or? After Glow Up. And do you think Glow Up's um, helped you? Um, um, in, or do you think some some ways it hinders you? No, never hinders, always helps. I yeah. think Glow Up just gave me the platform to really just show people my talent and to take me, like, serious. Yeah. I think, for me, beforehand, people just saw the dragon saw, like, kind of, like, as a gimmick, whereas mm -hmm. now they fully see the whole thing as, like... They know it's a talent. Yeah, it's, like, an actual art form and a talent and everything like that, like, and Glow Up just really helped me showcase... That wall that looks so hot. God, put that in the lamp. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm like, get it in the lamp, it's gonna move. Literally, it's like, too busy. But what do you want to turn the lamp you on then, Kirsten? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Faye does that, she goes, oh yeah, I like that, it's nice that. And I'm like, can you Girl, get in the lamp? The dust is settling. Yeah. Can you get in the lamp? Get in the lamp. <laughs> right, we're going to repeat this now. Then. There's so much to look at in this room. Why the mm -hmm. picture of Michael Jackson? I'm a massive Michael Jackson fan. Oh, you are? Yeah, so the... Um, is the cardboard cut out for you? I I, you have a cardboard cut out of Michael Jackson? Uh, yeah, I brought it all the way back from LA as well. Oh on the plane. Um, the um, air stewardesses had to put it in their little wardrobe. They were like, oh. Michael's on board, he's safe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I love Michael. So this brand over here of all this stuff on that shelf, what's that? So ours is all the pink bottles down there. Yeah. Then you've got Jalica, uh, Mystic Nails. And it's all just nails. stuff that you love to use or you've got yeah, it for so display. Yeah, so because we, we, we use, we don't just use our brand. Which I think is also really good because sometimes yeah. if you just like flood it, we go like, my, 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 my. People are just kind of like, um... You're just trying no. to sell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it creates a, um, trust, doesn't it, as well? Mm -hmm. we go. We're going to London on Sunday. Um, we've got Scratch Star Awards, which is a nail awards that I've been judging. Um, that you're judging? Yeah. I, I'm at, I, I am in the social media one, but I, I, I won it last year. But I just feel like they're not going to give it me again. They're going to give it somebody else. Mm. They're going to be like, you can't just keep going. You know, like, I can. I can. This year's Social Media Star of the Year Award goes to... Casey Meekin. Whereabouts in Germany are you flying to? Berlin. Berlin. So I have to fly to... I have to fly from Manchester to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Berlin. There's not a direct from Manchester I to didn't Berlin. Book I didn't book it. Surely there is. But then I fly from Berlin straight to Manchester on the way home. Oh yeah, but that, maybe on that day that they haven't got, maybe they have over certain days, but... Yeah. It's a bit strange. Isn't so I literally it? get to Berlin at 1 15 pm and I leave Berlin the next day at 5 pm. Right, so I'm going to chop it around this now.
Put me that in. Oh my god, she is a work of art. <laughs> you are a stupid cow cursor. That is incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Can I see it? Um, oh my god. I think the black ombre in the background really does make it. It really does make it pop, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so on this one, we're doing black flames with an outline of neon neon colors yeah and then the other hand be a white flame with a outline white of neon flame, color yeah. okay which i think will be really cool oh, i do yeah yeah look nice that one and it's so pigmented as well so that really really helps because where are these your pants yeah these are the uh this color is called void and it's the blackest black you ever did see it's just so nice so, like, to work with real tea between us mm-hmm like, is it the black is black? Yeah, honest. Oh, really? Fantastic, Allah. <laughs> That's so cool. It took longer than anticipated to launch our range because I am so fussy. That's good, though. And Adam was like, can you just pick the colours already? And you're like, no, I can't. No. Can we have the formula? Are we still are we still testing manufacturers? Yeah. Well, that's what I've been doing. So, like, for the past three years, I've been working on my own wig line. Yeah. And that's been the worst, back and forth. Because one sample takes, like, three months to make. Yeah. So it just takes so long to get samples. Have you got a favourite brand of makeup? No, I have, like, a few that I do love to use. Like, I love Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Yeah. Do you know what? I always think, is Charlotte Tilbury overrated? But then I had some of her products and I was like, oh, I actually really like them. <laughs> you know, you know like, what? you think, is it just a hype? Pop me that one in. Do you know what I mean? I was like, is is it just a hype? And no, honestly, I, I tell you this now, I promise you, like, between us, like, every single product that they do does exactly what it's supposed to do. Mm. Like, fully. Yeah. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. I know what I wanted to ask you. What do you think about, like, you know, you see on TikTok and Reels and things like that of hacks? <laughs> like makeup hacks? What do you think about them? My, my honest opinion is that these are not hacks. Yeah. So what you've got is it's like your take techniques are like... 90% of the techniques that you see on TikTok come from the drag community. Yeah. It's stuff that we've been doing for years. Yeah. And then you've got some girl who's then saying it's a hack on yeah. TikTok. And then you've got someone who sees that hack, then they incorporate that hack into their makeup. Then they start teaching people how to do their makeup using that hack. And it's like a constant cycle of passed down through the hacks. Yeah. And it's just like, makeup's not about doing a hack, it's just about doing your makeup. It's, like just yeah. do your makeup. Yeah, there's just different techniques, aren't there? Like if you're doing makeup and all you're doing is hacks to do your makeup, then like I, uh, maybe makeup's not for you. Yeah. You know, like I do makeup. This is another thing as well. A lot of people do the hacks to try and go viral on TikTok because they don't yeah. they don't want to be a makeup artist. They just want to be viral on TikTok. Yeah. They want to be a, a reality TV or like a Instagram star, and it's yeah. It's just kind of like. It it, I think it um, cheapens. Yeah. What it is. It really does. Like yeah. I find it very boring. Like. As soon as I see the hack videos, I'm just like, scroll next. Yeah. I'm just, it's not, I just can't be asked. Because we've like reviewed some hacks and like, one of them, they were putting gel on the skin. Gel mm -hmm. on like the skin? Like this, you know, like nail, nail polish gel on the skin. For what reason? To put it on the end of your finger, then to do a smile eye like that. Oh, you're not supposed to put it on your skin. On the French tip, yeah. Yeah, it's not made to go on but your why skin. But why don't they just build that, why is that rubber tip thing out there then? That rubber thing and you just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's quite a good act. So what's the point of doing it on your finger if you can buy a tool like that? Or... Exactly. Or... Paint it on. Paint it on. Yeah. Get a skill. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Definitely. Oh, and because that hack is potentially quite dangerous, dangerous because... Yeah. You're gonna if you leave uncured product on your finger for long enough, you will get a allergic reaction to that product, and that'll never go away. That allergic reaction won't. You'll be allergic to that forever. So that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. People will do anything for a little bit of fame and fortune. Yeah. Not even the fortune, just a bit of fame. Even like I know, um, you know, when they used to do like they put a fork or a spoon and things like yeah, that. Why? Yeah. No, why? It frustrates me a little bit. It really uh, it bothers did, me. Yeah, so I'm glad you have the same opinion. Yeah, it does bother me just because I feel like we don't need hacks and all this extra 
where guess what we've just done? What? What colour is that? <gasps> See, I'm just too busy chatting shit <laughs> with Alice. Could you imagine if we'd have got to the end? Imagine if I'd um, cured it. <gasps> Good thing about gel polish is you can just wipe that off. What about skincare? What's your favourite skincare? Skincare? Right, so here's the tea. I think skincare is more important than makeup. Really? Yeah. The biggest th reason why my makeup looks so flawless under like HD cameras and in person is because of the amount of skincare that I use. Yeah. So like when you go in for heavy makeup, you need a lot of skincare underneath to make sure that all the products will melt into the skin and look like skin. Like, right. if you saw how much foundation and concealer I wear, I even get comments on my videos being like, that's so much product, but then at the end, like, your skin looks so flawless, and I'm like, yes, because it's all in the skincare. Yeah, fine. Like, I literally will do... So my skincare, like, my actual skin... Yeah, stay away from this one. This I is know, the one. Yeah. <laughs> so my skincare routine is literally... I'll wash my skin, and then it's... Toner, essence, hydrating spray, hydrating serum, hydrating spray light moisturiser, heavy moisturiser, and then I use like a big, thick, waxy cream to like embalm all of that in. Oh my and God. And then I just get, and then you wake up in the morning and your skin is like glowy and shiny and glossy because that's the thing, like when you sleep on a night time, like you lose a lot of moisture comes out of your skin. Yeah. So like you, you like embalm it all in. And then two nights a week I use ret uh, like a retinol. Yeah. Just to... What brand do you use for your retinol? Well, I'm not really like too into it, so I've yeah. just been using a product from a brand called Beauty Pie, and yeah. it's like that overnight. It's like it's called like the overnight something, and it's basically just like a yeah. nice light cream. It has like small amount of retinol in, yeah. and it just has enough in it to like help soften the skin and just yeah. get it going in the right direction. Do you Have know you what heard I mean? of a bargy? No. A bargy is the nuts. Is it really good? Yeah. Is it it's expensive? not cheap. Not cheap. So how much is like retinol from them? Um, their retinols, um, you can have one percent or you can have zero point five. When you were on Glow Up, did you get the opportunity to use skincare on the on the models? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we had a full kit. So it was like skin prep and then. Could makeup. you take any of the, the I got kit to, home? I, I got to take it on because I won. Yeah. So, anybody else? No. no. <laughs> yeah, no. But God. like, we got to take in like five hero products from home. Right. But one of them could be five brushes of your own. Because they gave us a full set of brushes, makeup. They gave us all of that. And were they decent? Yeah, the brushes yeah. were really good. Um, what about the makeup that you could pick from? You know, like, you see I'm rushing to pick the makeup. That was really stupid because that was like, yeah. that was called like, that changed every episode. Which was so bizarre. Yeah. But every episode we had fifty pounds that we could buy something with for that challenge and then we got to keep it. Right. So in my head I was like I looked at the challenge and I was like, realistically, this challenge is gonna be quite early on because of what it is. Like it doesn't mm. fit to be like further on. So that like, I bought like extra brush sets and other products that I love with my fifty quid. So then like every episode like I just got more top ups of stuff that I loved. Yeah. So what kind of things did you buy with your fifty pound? I bought like a brush set from like Morphe. Yeah. I bought like loose pigments. I bought eyelashes. Yeah. Some glitters. Does I bought basically? I bought anything that like I can't live without from home. Yeah. That I'd use for every makeup look. I'm like right, I'll buy yeah. this. So much goes into it, doesn't it? And you uh, you don't see any of this. Honestly, as well, it really really blew my mind as to how much stuff goes into making a TV. Yeah. Especially with regards to makeup. Honestly, I was just kind of like, this is crazy. But you know what? Oh my God, this is a little secret. Do a little secret? Yeah. So I took in a contouring wheel. Yeah. That I always use because it works on like so many different skin tones. Like yeah. I always use it. But the center had a highlighter in it, uh -huh. which a cream highlighter, which I never use. So I took out the cream highlighter and filled it with a eye shadow base so that Ooh. then I had an eyeshadow base and so it doesn't matter what you used so it, it was always going to be good it didn't take up two spots in my hair or products but that was my secret little trick that I was so proud of myself that like I managed to sneak in like an extra product that no one knew about that's like when they go on um, I'm a celebrity and they sneak, try and sneak in like a mascara or something yeah, yeah. honestly like you just, like, it had to be done like and to be fair I didn't even end up using the eyeshadow base did you not? <laughs> no all that contour wheels, so it was like a wasted product. Oh.
to be fair, like in my head, like I like the challenge of like making, like using products like I've never used before. So cause yeah. like we got given this makeup kit, like a lot of the time, like I did, the products that were in it were like really decent. So like I never really reached for my hero products that much. Yeah. Apart because from. Because they got good quality products. Yeah. Apart from my, my white look with the red lip and the red eyes. Yeah. I designed that knowing that I had a really beautiful red eyeshadow in my hero palette that I brought in with me. Right. So I knew I'd have the palette. And what palette was that? It was this Morphe, like this big Morphe artistry palette and it had like yeah. a beautiful matte red and a beautiful shimmer in it. And it was really, it was a really beautiful palette that I like to use. Um, have you got like a really big case that you take with you? Have you got one of them pull-on yeah, cases? from Glow Up, that one. I still oh, use that really? one. Yeah, oh, really? Wow. that little metal one. Yeah. Because they're expensive and like they, yeah. they do the trick and mine literally yeah. was bought brand new for Glow Up, so I'm the only person who's ever used it. Yeah. So that was like really chill and I still have all the... Bring it I can still use all of it apart from like now when I um when I go places like I still have the makeup bags that say Ellis on it from oh, Glow Up. Yeah, because I just not taking them off. That is cool. Question. Yeah. Would you be able to do it in a way that like you fit them to me and then we pop it off and then I just glue it on? Oh uh, like a sculpted acrylic set. So like you know like that press one you showed me earlier, but it's a, yeah. it's got the gap underneath where you yeah. put acrylic under, right? Yeah, gel. gel. So is there a way that you could do it where... We'd have to physically do the set on you. Yeah. And then be able to take them uh, off. I could... Do How you know what? I could... We can put a peel-off base on. So you can get a peel-off base that you put on. Then you fit them. And you can take them off. And I could literally just glue them at home with nails there. Yeah. <sighs> We could do that. So, now the, you think I've been clamping your hands tightly now, wait till I... Oh no, that's fine. The only th Can you just be careful of this thumb that's got the cut on it? Oh yeah, is it getting a bit sore? Yeah. I'm holding it a bit. Like well, if we stop no, blood good. flow, then you, it's not going to have any pain. <laughs> right, what so, do you think... Beauty is game? pain. Well, how do you think we should do it? The colour I like the least is the yellow. Yeah. So, like, maybe do the yellow on the thumb. thumb. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thumb then, just gets forgotten about. And then pink and green together. Yeah. And then orange on the end. Yeah. Which or do, Where do you want to put the green? Yellow, uh, pink, yeah. green, yeah. orange. Exactly what orange. I thought, yes. Which colour are you doing first? I'm going to do the fingers first. I'll do your thumb last. Okay, slow Because it just gets forgotten about. <laughs> it does. It, yeah, true. So, it's green, hard to like, take a pink, green, well, orange. Kind of done something completely by accident just because I can paint this side a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually think it looks. You mean I'm doing the pink just on one side? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. I quite like that. It's as if it's a, a shadow. Yeah. Like it's a neon shadow. I like that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, but you laugh. Because I was just doing that side because I find that side easier and I'll just do the other bit after. But no, I like that. It's cool. So I'll give you my other hand so you can do the pink and the white. Yeah. Wait, but now can you do it on the other side? No, it's all going to happen on the other side. With the OCD going to look at your yeah, face. I'm like... <gasps> really? Just do it on that side? It'll still look cool. It'll still look cool. You can do it. It'll still look good, I promise. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I do too. It looks really fun, doesn't it? Yes. And you said this side was gonna this was gonna take you a while as well. I know. I'll put that in. I like it. Is this one done? Yeah. I bet you do you look at people's makeup and not a chance. I do not give a shit. Do you Honestly, not? I do not care. It's not for me to judge. Everyone's makeup is completely different to them and we all have a journey that we're going on with our makeup. So oh, to I me love that. that is so nice. So like to me, like why am I judging someone who's A, not a professional, B, probably doesn't know how to use the right products for them, and C, hasn't had the right advice to help them get better? Like It's like judging a blind person how to paint a picture. Yeah. Like, you're literally, like, if you have no knowledge on makeup, or I don't know the level of knowledge that you have, then why would I judge you on it? I love that. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I love that. Don't get me wrong, like, if I'm, like, looking at something as, like, a whole, like, with regards to, like, drag or, like, drag makeup, like, obviously yeah. I'm going to have an opinion on it because I do drag, but it's never like a, oh, you look <laughs> It's like, oh, I probably wouldn't have worn that heel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I maybe would have added this. Yeah. Because, like, I'm a very detail-orientated person. Like, I really am. So, like, for me, all the small details make such a big difference. Yeah. So it's, like, the difference between a good look and a phenomenal look is the little details. And you know what? It's the same with nails. Mm -hmm. It's those little details that make the difference. Pop that in. Oh, my God, we're nearly done. Well, so we just need a top coat now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're oh, going to wow. use a no-wipe top coat. So sometimes gel polishes have a sticky layer on their top coats, but mm -hmm. this is a no-wipe top coat. It just makes it easier. Do you think um, a matte top coat might look better? Right, OK. We can do matte. No, no I'm just saying not I'm to do it. Do you think it looks good? I'm going to gloss these first so you have the option. But um, I do love a matte top coat. Yeah. But you don't think with this it wouldn't work? It, it, no, it, it, it would work. Do you think it would look cool? Because in my head I'm like, if it's matte, it would look more graphic because the shine wouldn't take away from the design and yeah. then the crystal nail would look more crystal against the matte. Ah, you get, I get you, I feel you. I you know what I mean? You. I'm not sure though. Right, let's get some oil on these bad boys. Oh, now this is going to be the thing. What's your favourite? Is it? Is it the black or is it the white? It's this. It's the black. It's the oh, ring it's finger. the ring finger. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's the black. Yeah. I think the black looks better with the colours. Yeah. Because it's more, it's more clashing. Yeah. I think. But when you're half and half kind of boy, yeah. you've got to have the half and half. Yeah. yeah. It's just fun. And I feel like as well, like, my boyfriend was the one who actually gave me the idea to do that. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, yeah, like it works. Like when he told me about it, I was like, why have I never thought about that? I'm sorry, but I love it. Oh, they look really good, don't they? Hold on, there we are. Oh my God, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure. Wow. It really has. <laughs> <laughs> for me, for me, Alice, it's been an absolute pleasure. Get me an Uber, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> no, they look so insane. Like, I just can't get over how fast and precise you are. Do you know what I mean? Like, they were so good. Thank you. Well, from one artist I to another, that means want a, a full lot. Set of this. You want a full set, full <sighs> long set, like. Honestly, yeah. so gorgeous. There you are, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below, as always. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram mm. and all that shebang. Mm. Go and check Alice out because your mind is going to be blown. See you later. Ta-da! <laughs>